I'm just washing some dishes. Um, this is really a note to self. I don't know if it'll make a vlog, but uh, I was thinking about how nervous I get before I lift. Right. I've been lifting for a while now. I'm a professional. I've won some good titles, and I still get nervous every time before I lift. And there are certain things in life that um, I do, and I still get nervous. And I was thinking about what, what, what am I nervous about? You know. Um, sorry, I'm washing dishes. So I was just really thinking about that, and I thought, and I, and it really made me see that every time I go out and I set out for a new goal and I set out to do something new. Um, there is a bit of nervousness associated with it. Why? This is why the idea I just kind of came up with. Um, I've been thinking about this for some weeks. And I think I'm finally ready to speak on it. Um, nervousness stems from something else, right? Stems from something you don't like, something I'm unsure about. So I just noticed I would go down. Sorry, let me turn the sink off. I'd go down and I'd get in like a deadlift or something, right? And like... Better yet, a shoulder press. Sorry, I got soap all over my hands. A shoulder press. And I'd go and I'd get it right here. And I'd be nervous all the way up to until that moment. And I figured out what that moment is. And that's, mom that's your moment of fury. That's your moment of weakness. And that's when weakness and anger, I got soap on my hands, kind of line up in one. Uh, why is that moment important? Um, I'll take it back a few steps. There's a... Um, I, I like to read some Nietzsche every now and then, and he came up with the idea, of, not really came up with the idea, preached the idea, wrote about the idea um, about ex existentialism. And that basically says that someone else has made up the rules, right? Somebody out there has made up society's rules and made rules in a way that you're supposed to do. So when someone tells you that 300 pounds or 26 weeks of prep or getting two master's degrees is hard, I get innately nervous because someone else has set my standard for me. What Nietzsche says is that, um, I'm not preaching Nietzsche, this is what I believe too, is that it takes the transformation of the soul through anger. And anger is, when used, good, when used, when used positively, anger is, is really the way to get through almost anything in life. Um, now most people get this moment of weakness, right? So when you're really doubting yourself, when you're really nervous, when you're really something, you get to this kind of bottom, right? And most people bitch out. They'll get to this nervousness and they'll say, you know what, I can't do it, I can't take it. Then that, what does that lead into? Like I said, you go from nervousness to doubt to depression, and then it's a lifelong cycle of s sadness and self-loathing. I don't like that, I'm not with that, so what have I done? I know that I've had situations in my life where, you know, I really haven't been too sure, too sh I'm sorry, too sure of what was going to happen. And with me not being too sure of what was going to happen, what did I do? I just got really mad. I just got really mad. Who did I get mad at? I got mad at myself. I got mad at the person I used to be. I got mad at what am I afraid of, right? So like Neat says, this transformation of the soul, first you have to recognize what what the situation is at first when i first recognized that yo i don't like the old way right i don't like the old way that this has been i don't like these old goals i don't like this old life i don't like the way has been things have been going i'm unhappy you've never seen a war a revolution an uprising you've never seen anything and i can almost guarantee that there's no one that's had extreme success without saying f f that Fuck that. I run this. I do this. I can do this. Who who set these rules? Who set these rules that they have, that this person has to tell me what I have to do, right? And you have, and, it's, and, it's, and it saddens me, and it really saddens me that people will live their entire life 100% ready to lie to themselves. Because if you don't get angry at the truth and really go through with who you want to be, you're going to you're gonna be lying to yourself for the rest of your life. That's the beef I have with a lot of motivational speakers. I'm not a motivational speaker. I just speak my mind. Is that they'll out, they're out here selling dreams, right? So they'll tell you this. They'll tell you this and that it sounds good, right? It sounds really good. And what they're doing is selling dreams because it's empty. They're not telling you that, you know what, like, I can speak and give you all the pep talks and everything I want, but if you don't take it within yourself and get really mad, don't get mad and don't become a brat. Don't get mad and then blame the world. Get mad in here, right? Get mad in here. Go out there and tear the, and tear the world up, man. It's your it's it's your world, your purpose. Do what you want to do. I I I first discovered this through weights, right? 
through weights. I I was like, well, why am I so nervous, right? When the, when the iron made me nervous, I felt that feeling in different aspects of life. The first day of, of, of my hardest undergrad class years ago, right? I knew that, you know what, I'm not going to let this person beat me or this person do better than me, right? Uh, I, I've, I've become this late, <laughs> this laden camel, you know, as niece would, as niece would say, ready, ready to be ridden by someone else's rules. And I've transformed myself into whoever I've wanted to be, you know, like, I just, I, I don't know. So I, I guess simply from this, I think this is the base principle of anything I've ever spoken because there's no there's absolutely no way there's absolutely no way that anything I've ever talked about can be actualized or accomplished without first having one's mind really mad you know and this is why one of my favorite things to watch um, is people before they lift like Lane has his mad stomp that's somebody saying you know what I'm in control you know and once you really learn how to get mad Ama amazing things will happen, man. Don't live your entire life down and depressed and sad because you listen to someone else's rules and you were living off someone else's standard. If you want to do something, think about it. Really think about an action plan, how you're going to go about it. And the moment that you get all your eggs lined up, I guarantee you, if you look back and you cross your arms and you're just like, man, fuck that. I'm going to do this and really believe that you're going to do this. And if you really believe you can do it, anything is attainable. And it all starts with a little anger. Don't get angry. So when you feel nervous and when you feel angry and frustrated, that is a good feeling. Angerness is, is required, right? So this idea of, of, of the old rules that someone made up and the person that you want to be, there's a war. And I feel like I am in a lifelong war. You know, I have this... I wish I could know where it was. I have this voice in the back of my mind that's like, how can I even describe it? I have this voice in the back of my mind that's just constantly bugging me, always bugging me, right? My baseline person that I am is such a, a, a really afraid individual of everything. He's really scared. I don't know why I'm so afraid of everything. I'm really scared of a lot of things in life. I don't, I don't know all the answers. I don't know what's gonna come next. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I can tell you what, I have this little guy in the back of my head and he's always, always, always willing to walk in the room, <laughs> look around and ask me, what the fuck are you afraid of? Let's do this. And he goes, man, and he goes for me. Get that thing. Get that person. Stop listening to motivational speakers. Stop listening to other people. You don't need anybody how to tell you to accomplish your goals. No one's going to, no one's going to tell you all, all I can do. I'm being honest. All I can do, all any, and, ah, people make vlogs. Anybody who talks all this motivation stuff, all they can do is draw a blueprint of what to do, right? All they can do in terms of you actually executing it and getting it done yourself. That's, that's going to be entirely up to you. And you've got to go to war with yourself from here to here. This is, this is an, a war of anger. This is an innate internal conflict. No one's going to, no, no one's going to do this for you, right? So what do you do, man? So it's up to you, really. What do you do? I mean, do you, do you, do you cower? Do you, do you stay at homeostasis? I mean, do you let the doubt be real? Do you live your life and let something you made up in your mind, some doubt be real? Or do you get a new, or do you really just get a new spirit and tell yourself, you know what? I'm going to try a new enlightened way of thinking and just really rage this through, right? And get really mad. People talk about YOLO, right? YOLO, right? How about YOLO? You only live once. You should really try to accomplish something you've never done. I, I've, I've watched people's Facebooks. I've watched people's lives doing the same things over and over. It doesn't seem entirely interesting to me. I live a life where I am. I've never seen anybody do what I'm doing. The combination of things I have in my life, the people I know, the people I'm surrounded with, I've never seen anybody do it. And I didn't get here by luck or by chance. Every day I've been nervous. Every challenge I've ever been, I haven't been afraid to do it. I've put my best foot forward. I felt that fear. I feel, I feel fear just like anybody. I know you guys admire me for what I say and what I do, but trust me, I'm one of you. I'm, I'm one of you in my kitchen washing my dishes, right? And just I think of these crazy ideas, man. So 
I don't know. I think that's really all I have to say. Um, when you get angry, man, you, I don't know. I, I guess it'll really roll into structure. And once you learn how to really get mad and use that anger to propel you forward, that, stru that structure forms by itself. You know, people always say, I want to get organized. I want to know how to do this. I want to know how to do that. And that's the question I always get out. The one piece of advice I'll tell you somebody is that, how, are you mad, really mad at the person you used to be? Are you really fed up with the person you used to be because if you're not you're going to remain the same person because you're not that mad yet right so don't lie to yourself and go just like everybody else posting all these f posting all these quotes online all these pictures of the person they'd like to be with this huge gap in our generation between people saying who they are on their facebook and when you really meet them they're like a dead fish in real life you know so don't be afraid don't overthink it don't overdo it just really feel it in here, man. Get mad and go out and the, the world is yours. Take it. Um, so man, I'm about to wash the rest of these dishes. That's really all I have to say about that. Um, in the words of Abe Lincoln, the best part about the future is that it only comes one day at a time. One day at a time, one task at a time. Thank you for listening to my kitchen rant. Peace.